I was really impressed yesterday about with the science education you were doing with very, very simple tools, water bottles, plates, that kind of stuff. Tell me about how you're using that in Botswana and Kenya and Taysa. Ken, your partner that was demonstrating yesterday. Well, I, I do use them in Botswana because I come from Botswana. But what we're doing with those is to demonstrate to the teachers in the schools that without complicated equipment, you still can do science demonstrations and communicate science concepts in a way that children would appreciate them and have a better understanding of the concept. Right. Yeah. Now, you don't have a science center in Botswana right now. Is that something you're aiming for? Or is that a sort of a big goal for you? Yeah, of course, yes. We are aiming for it. We are hoping for it. We are praying for it that one day we'll have a science center as well. Maybe not as big as this one, but with some uh, exhibits that learners can come, interact with, and be thinking of what is going on around them. And what's, what's preventing you from doing that now? I mean, you're, you're doing outreach all over the place, and I mean, it's an, an audacious goal, I think, for you, right? Yeah. So um, what's, what's preventing, say, in the first next year from getting to that goal? Of course, it's finances. We, we, as of now, we don't have money. We would have wished even to have a caravan, you know, where we, a caravan, I mean, a porter cabin, right. where we could put stuff, but we don't have those finances yet. Right. Yeah. And, and how are you working towards achieving that goal? Uh, we are, um, well, putting forward uh, uh, a plan to the university. We are also writing grant applications for, uh, we might be fortunate that somebody could uh, sponsor that. Right. And how could Aztec help you, do you think? Aztec could help us in a number of ways. Uh, for one, we, we need uh, capacity building. That's one area that we need. And of course, uh, if there are people that can donate whatever uh, um, f towards the starting of the, of the, of the science center, that, that would be great. But with capacity building, that gives you a long-term uh, uh, capability to move on. Right. And what have you learned at the conference that you've been here last few days? Uh, it's, it's, been, it's been great. It's been really great. Um, well, I attended a number of sessions. The one session that we had on Friday was uh, re-engaging, you know, the visitors, you know, their interest. And I thought it was an awesome, you know, presentation and training because it says, you know, when people come, they need to be engaged and they need to engage at a higher level. You know, even if they start from uh, way below, as you interact with them, you want them to go to a much higher uh, engagement. And then um, the, the circuses that I saw, uh, mind-blowing you know and that is exciting because in as much as we do it you still get excited when other people are doing it and right now we've just had a session on how to work with the corporate world another very beautiful uh, lesson because it shows how we could link up with other people and move forward Great. well thanks for coming and uh, enjoy the rest of the conference thank you so much <laughs>